If you haven't heard of ChatGPT, please crawl out from under the rock you've been sitting under because things are about to change in a big way in 2023. The robots are here and ChatGPT has exploded onto the scene and it's taken the world by storm. You don't want to get left behind. And in this video, I'm going to tell you how you can use ChatGPT to build a successful blog that ranks high on Google, as well as a few issues that most people aren't talking about. But first, let me tell you some crazy stuff this thing has been able to pull off so far. Chat GPT. A robot you can talk to. If you ask it a question, it'll answer it. My students are using Chat GPT in order to answer their questions. Zero to a million users in five days, which is the fastest any platform has gone to a million users. This will change everything. Chat GPT is a chatbot launched by OpenAI in November 2022. And so far, the stuff this thing can do is pretty unbelievable. Someone asked it to write a biblical verse explaining how to remove a peanut butter sandwich from a VCR and it absolutely nailed it. If you ask it to give you any recipe in any language, it will do it. If you tell it to explain quantum mechanics to you as if you were five years old, it would nail it. I asked it to explain SEO to me as if I was a dog and the result was brilliant. And most importantly for you, it can massively boost your SEO results. It can help you generate ideas, write meta descriptions, write content, and improve your keyword research. It can even help you with sending outreach messages for backlinks. But there are some serious limitations that I'll get to later in this video. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate you clicking that like button and helping this video reach more people. Okay, so first, let's talk about how we can use it for keyword research. If you go to ChatGPT and give it a prompt like, give me 10 long tail keywords related to garden furniture, it will generate a list for you that's actually pretty good. As you can see, we've got keywords like this. So not too bad. Now let's ask it for some variations. So you can see how useful this is for doing some initial keyword research. It's given me a ton of useful ideas for things to target that I might not have come up with on my own. And then you can ask it to tweak and change these keywords for you. Now, when it comes to using it to create content, I think this is where the rubber hits the road. You can pump out content way faster, which allows you to blanket a topic and build some authority around it. If Google sees that you've created 50 pages about garden furniture, you're gonna be seen as having way more topical authority versus if you created five. This is gonna help your rankings for any page you publish on the topic moving forward. And if you're stuck for content topics, GPT can generate as many as you like. Let's give it a go with the garden furniture example. And I promise, I'm not going through a midlife crisis gardening phase. If we type in, give me 10 article ideas related to garden furniture, we see this list of potential content pieces you could make. Obviously not all of these are good ideas. Some are super generic, but some are pretty good ideas. And with a bit of tweaking, you'll be able to whip up an article pretty quickly. Now to write this bad boy, you can start by typing in something like, write me a 500 word article on the benefits of sitting on lawnmowers. As you can see, it will generate a fairly good first draft to give you some inspiration. At this point, you obviously still need to rewrite certain parts to give it your own unique style and tone, but it gets the ball rolling very quickly. And it will even generate a pretty good meta description. Let's ask it to do that and type in, write me a meta description for a page titled top five sit on lawnmowers in 2023. And as you can see, it does a pretty good job of it. Another way you can use ChatGPT is to generate outreach messages for backlinks. One of the issues with sending outreach messages is that by sending tons of them, they can end up sounding pretty generic, which reduces your chances of getting a reply, let alone a backlink from them. So if we type in, generate me an outreach email to a popular gardening blog asking for a backlink, then let's see what it comes out with. As you can see, it's the same as with the keywords and the writing, a pretty solid first draft that needs a bit of refining if we want to match it to your personal style and tone. Okay, so we've blown ChatGPT's trumpet enough. What are the downsides? Well, first, AI-generated content is easy to spot. If you put in GPT's text into a program like originality.ai, it will spot it right away. We don't know what Google is going to do about AI content in the future, so people who build a blog jam-packed with auto-generated content are going to be caught with their pants down if Google decides to go after it in the future. Also, as of this moment, it's limited to data from before 2021. 
So whatever content it generates is outdated, which is pretty crucial if your business relies on keeping up to speed with current events. AI generated content is gonna blanket the internet over the next couple of years. ChatGPT is gonna get more and more sophisticated and we have no idea where things are gonna go. If you want to make your business future-proof, then check out this video next if you want to learn SEO for free and boost your search traffic. As always, I appreciate you guys and I'll see you in the next video.